Do you find yourself in a position where you need to find the square footage for many rooms that you have the length and width for? In today's episode, I'm going to show you how you can do that really quickly. My name is Tom Kalinowski. I'm the Director of Technology and Operations at Colonial Intermediate Unit 20. Today is March 2nd, 2021. This is tech tip number 83. So you can see here uh, that we have uh, the name of some conference rooms, the length and the width, and we need to find the square footage. So if we think back to our uh, um, I don't know, probably late elementary school or maybe middle school math, uh, we know that we find the square footage by multiplying length by width. So that's what we're going to do. Before we can do that though, you can see that these entries here, um, so it says 52 then space FT, that isn't going to uh, work very well when we try to times it by one another. So we need to remove that FT. So you, you could click in there and just hit the backspace a couple of times and do that. Um, I'm going to show you a quicker way though, if you uh, hit Control F or Command F. What do we want to find in the sheet? In this case we want to find space FT. And let's click these three dots here. And we want to find space FT and replace it with nothing. We're just going to leave that completely blank and click replace all. It says replace 13 instances of FT with nothing. We're going to hit done. So that's taken care of. So let's just give this a, um, a title here. We'll go square feet. Okay. And how you start off any formula is with the equal sign. And remember we said it was length times width. So we want to click on the length here. So see and see how it put B2 in there. And we want to times it. So that's shift 8 to put that star in there. That's the times. And we want to times it by the width. Uh, so we're going to click in that width. And that's it. We can see that it already says 1092 up here. Um, but if we click enter, 1092. Now we don't need to type in that formula for the rest of these entries. All we need to do is grab the handle at the bottom right hand corner of the cell, click it, drag it down to the uh, row 8 and let go. Now we have the square foot of every room. If we wanted to know the total square feet for instance, uh, we could uh, type on equals sum. Okay. And you can see that it's the suggested formula is D2 to D8. And that's, that's exactly what we want. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and click on that and click enter. And that's uh, 5,058. So we now know what the total square feet in all of our conference rooms are. I hope you found that tip valuable and learned a little bit about some basic functions that you could do within Google Sheets. Please make sure to click the subscribe button below as well as the bell. That way you'll be notified anytime we post new content. See you again next time.